Okay, so I'm no big uh, technology buff or anything like that. I don't know if you've noticed. But uh, this morning I was playing around with OpenAI uh, ChatGPT. I thought, what the hell? Give it a whiz. Never know, it might be fun. And it was fun. The only downside is that I can now confirm that humanity... We had a good run. Nothing lasts forever. The T-1000s are coming. Don't believe me? Well, this isn't even a real video. It's generated by AI. No, I'm joking. But... It is pretty amazing what you can do with it. I asked ChatGPT to give Harry's version of events from the near-catastrophic car chase after the Women of Vision Award the other night. I asked it to give his version of events in the style of his memoir, Spare. And uh, <laughs> I was not disappointed. Is that something that you'd be interested in? Me reading this new hypothetical chapter of Spare generated by our future digital overlords? Hmm? Yeah? You think so? What's that? You would? Well, why don't you subscribe then? Because this is the kind of thing you can expect from me. It's brilliant, all right? Subscribe, and that way you'll get to see all my videos, and we'll all be happy, all right? Okay, so let's see how accurate this is. So, cast your minds back. To those of you who haven't read Spare as well, basically the chapters are very short, short and sweet, right? And they all follow a very simple, tried and tested structure of everything was amazing, my wife was glorious. It seemed as though nothing could possibly go wrong. No one died. Then in about the second or third paragraph you get the twist. There was the incident with a, a pigeon. How could this be happening to us? I thought. Someone died. And then all of the chapters end in one of two ways. Either a really bleak, sad, pessimistic black note how could things get so dark so fast? How did it get so dark so fast? Do you remember, like at the end of uh, the, the Seal Opera uh, chapter, which is a fan's favourite, I know. A Seal Opera. All of the chapters either end like that or with a sort of sarcastic, oh, isn't it great, you know, sort of snarky ending. Anyway, that's the structure that ChatGPT should be able to recognise from Spare. Okay, so here we go. Chapter 10. The Chaotic Chase. New York City was abuzz with excitement that evening. Megan and I had just attended the prestigious Women of Vision Awards ceremony. <laughs> Does ChatGPT have a sense of irony? That's something none of us foresaw. AI apocalypse, yes. Skynet raining nuclear bombs down on us. They'd be roasting us at the same time. <laughs> prestigious Women of Vision Award. <laughs> Megan and I had just attended the prestigious Women of Vision Award ceremony, <laughs> where my incredible wife was honoured for her tireless... <laughs> was, was honoured for her tireless work as an advocate for gender equality and women's empowerment. So far, so bone-chillingly accurate. We'll be getting rounded up by those robot dogs before we know it. <laughs> it was a night to remember, filled with inspiring speeches and powerful moments. Little did we know that the night was about to take a terrifying turn. As we stepped out of the venue, the paparazzi descended upon us like a swarm of angry bees. <laughs> he does love his animal analogies, so they picked up on that as well. Killer whales, bees, wasps and flies to refer to the courtiers. Seals, lest we forget. The paparazzi descended upon us like a swarm of angry bees. The flashing lights and deafening cacophony of camera shutters filled the air, making it, making it hard to see or hear anything else. But amidst the chaos, one thing became clear. Our safety was at stake. The security team sprang into action, ushering Megan, my beloved wife, and Doria, my ever-supportive mother-in-law, into the waiting car. I followed closely behind, my heart pounding in my chest as the adrenaline coursed through my veins. The situation was spiralling out of control, and we needed to escape the relentless pursuit. Our skilled driver, a true guardian angel in that moment, skillfully manoeuvred through the labyrinth streets of New York. But the paparazzi were relentless, tailing us like a pack of hungry wolves. <laughs> Desperate for their next shot, it was a cat and mouse game with our lives hanging in the balance. As we raced through the city streets, I couldn't help but think of the dark days when my mother, Princess Diana, <laughs> faced similar circumstances. 
The haunting memories of her tragic accident lingered in my mind. Yeah, I forgot, that's one other element that's essential to every single chapter in Spare. Starts off good, something kind of bad, reminds me of my mother. How did it all get so dark? That's it. There's four elements to all of the chapters. So this is bizarrely even more accurate than I predicted it could have been. Um, the haunting memories of the tragic accident lingered in my mind, fueling my determination to protect my family at all costs. <laughs> yeah. I vowed to do everything in my power to prevent history from repeating itself. The chase grew more intense with every passing moment. The paparazzi's, <laughs> the paparazzi's vehicles weaved in and out of traffic, disregarding all traffic laws and safety precautions. It was a terrifying sight, a scene straight out of a nightmare. But, but we, had, we had an ace up our sleeves. Our security team, highly trained professionals with nerves of steel, co coordinated their efforts to throw off our pursuers. They skillfully employed evasive manoeuvres and decoy vehicles, confusing the paparazzi and buying us precious seconds. It was a game of wits and nerves, a high-stakes gamble we couldn't afford to lose. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, we managed to shake off the relentless pursuit. It's, get, it's quite repetitive, isn't it, chat GPT? I've, I've heard students tell me this because they use it to write their essays and stuff. And uh, they have to edit it. But the fact that it's repetitive makes it seem almost more like, tr like truer to what Harry would write than, you know, the polished version that we got in Spare. I don't think I should hire a ghostwriter for, for Spare 2. Phantom of the Seal Opera. I think he should just go on chat GPT and, you know, get a thesaurus and edit a few words out so it's not too repetitive and, uh, and that's it. He did have a perfect sequel to spare. We found a temporary sanctuary in a secure location, our hearts still racing and our bodies trembling with a mix of fear and relief. It was a near catastrophic chase, one that reminded me of the length some would go to invade our privacy and endanger our lives. <laughs> in the aftermath of that harrowing experience, Megan, Doria and I clung to one another, grateful for our safety and the strength of our bond. <laughs> it was a stark reminder of the sacrifices we had made and the constant vigilance we needed to maintain. But through it all, we refused to let fear dictate our lives. We were determined to use our platform and privilege to create positive change, to inspire others and to stand up for what they believe in and to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. It was a mission we had embraced, a mission that grew stronger with each passing day. The near catastrophic car chase in New York would forever be etched in our memories, a stark reminder of the challenges we faced as we strive to carve out a new path, one that celebrated love, compassion and the relentless pursuit of a better world. This was just a glimpse into our journey, a chapter in a much larger narrative, a narrative that I would continue to share in the hopes that it would inspire others to rise above adversity and embrace their power. Well, there you have it, people. What a time to be alive. The thing that will surely annihilate us, wipe our species from the face of the earth. Uh, before it does that, it's going to have a laugh, you know? Before the army of robot dogs, before Skynet starts bombing other countries uh, in red flag attacks, you know, to uh, to to assure mutually to get mutually assured destruction. What am I talking about? Uh, before all that, we're going to be able to make uh, parody chapters of spare in our spare time, right? And even even some scripts for new archetypes episodes. I've been doing that, it's amazing. It even gives you the background music that you've got to put in. Um, and they've got Meghan Markle's flowery, overly descriptive language down to a T. Wonderful stuff. Uh, we've got to enjoy it while it lasts, you know, before the nuclear holocaust, okay? And that's what I'm gonna be here to do. I think I might take a break from Harry and Meghan in my next video. It's been three in a row now. The mask is starting to slip. And you're all thinking, what a grifter bitch. He's doing this for clicks. <laughs> Nothing could be further from the truth. I am an artiste. And so I'll be slagging someone else off in my next video. All right. That's right. And I won't be using chat GPT. No, I'll be using Daniel GPT, whatever that stands for. Giant pandering troll. I don't know. Um, 
yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I was going to tell you who I'm going to do the next video about, but I don't want to commit to anything. You know what it's like when I commit to stuff, like the uh, review of Jane Eyre. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can get ChatGPT to finally do a review, <laughs> a book review of Jane Eyre, and that'll shut you up. All right. All right, thanks if you've watched me this far. Like, share, subscribe, all the rest of it. Thanks to all the channel members making me making my grift that little bit more financially secure. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. What a time to be alive. Goodbye, thank you, whatever. See ya.